everyone. It's the Boca Brothers back at you again Woo-hoo! on YouTube as yes, we as we get it on with uh, the cars we regret selling part three. This is part three, and we want to thank uh, all of our subscribers and viewers for uh, chiming in and letting us know what car they regret selling. Man, the replies have been incredible, and just a lot yes. of people have regretted selling their car or, or getting rid of the car. Really, by with any well, they any either, reason, they either sold it or uh, they wrecked it. We had a few that's uh, that have wrecked their vehicles. Man, I got some echo here, man. I know. All right, it's all good I'll in the hood, but this. we're we're here. And, and by the way, we we had to, did what didn't we have someone where their he came back from a vacation and his dad sold it and he he cried for hours. Yeah, I think it was a cat. <laughs> I think it was a Cadillac. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Anyway, it's just cars that we regret selling or getting rid of somehow, some way. And you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. Oh, if I had it all over to do to do it again, and it'd be you know, it'd be like oh, I wouldn't sell that car or wouldn't have gotten rid of my ex girlfriend. And that's or something why, like that. <laughs> and that's why we have cars we regret selling. selling. All right. Yes. Let's get into it. All right, Mr. Malware. Uh-oh, hope we don't get any malware here. Uh, you guys could turn this into a huge series. Love hearing about all these old cars. Not really a classic car here, but I regret selling a 2001 Saab. Uh, 9.3 Vigan, yeah. Okay, 9.3 Vigan. Yeah, that was the uh, last of the great true Saabs. A Swedish built car, and uh, that vegan was awesome, man. I had a, vegan, a I vegan. had a good, uh, I had a, a general manager of mine who loved Sobs. He had one of the older uh, looking Sobs, and and would drive it. Uh, he would drive that thing. I think he drove it till it died. Hey, here's the, uh, you know, uh, one of my favorite Sobs was the Saab 900. Yeah, that's uh, the one. Yes, back, back in the 80s. Uh huh. And um, man, they were the strangest looking, but. You know they were they were pretty awesome back then. You know, I mean, I I was at one time looking for one here recently, but uh, man, just something about them. You know, they don't make these these nine uh, hundreds anymore. You're like, ah, can I find parts? And like, nah. Yeah. Not, so you got to wonder, man, is it going to be cost uh, costly to to own one and maintain one? Probably is. But yeah, that's the one right there, the nine hundred was uh the the one that looked like my general manager's uh sob uh-huh. which is cool didn't our brother renee come into our city and and was gonna buy one of those a convertible yeah, he, one a red uh sob 900 convertible he, he was looking for the turbo yeah yes exactly and uh we went out way out i don't know 40 minutes out of town and and uh drove it and then he ended up not buying it so yeah okay yeah, nice yeah. car all right next we have uh one from uh is it uh, gnome bear Gnome Bear, mm-hmm. thanks for chiming in on car you regret selling. I had a, I had several Nova Company cars in the seventies, and they were absolutely bulletproof. They were close to perfection and uh, economical. My mother's seventy six Avell was built on the same chassis and uh, was also reliable. She passed the uh, Seville on to uh, a granddaughter who literally drove it into the ground. Oh, you know? man. The 70 Nova, man. Look at or that. 71 or 72, you know. 73, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have a friend of mine who has a 73 and uh, and popped it uh, from a column shift uh, standard to a floor, and, I mean, it looks like it was out of the factory the way he you know he paid a lot of money to, to have it done and it was uh it's beautiful it's a, you know we had a friend of ours johnny signs i think he had a 71 or a 72 right it was a yellow one and i called it the tank because <laughs> the tank and i tease him about it every time i i you know get a chance to talk to him so he snuck his uh, dad's uh 70 what was 70 yellow 73 uh uh, Nova with a 350 in it, right? Yeah. Had that nice badge, 350. Right on. And uh, we were going down this, this street, but on the side of the street, there was gravel. Well, he decided to stop on the gravel to peel out. He peeled out, lost control, and, uh, and T-boned a parked car. Man, I hope he's not listening to this. I hope I hope so, too. <laughs> Well, I hope, I hope the person who owned that uh, that car isn't listening. But no, I was, hey, I was just a passenger, man. I wasn't driving the thing, so he lost control. T boned this this car that was parked there, and uh, and raced back home. And he had uh, uh, his garage had one of those flip up garages, right? It wasn't the the, roll the ones up. that roll up. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, the roll was up. It was, like a, like it was a scissors. A, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So he opened that up and and uh, parked the car. We and we looked around the car, and that, you know, of course, the, the Novas had those big uh, bumpers in the yeah. front. Not not a scratch on the on that uh, car. 
Wow, and, man. Uh, and to this day, I don't think his dad ever found out. I remember that night you came home and, hey, Johnny, me and Johnny were cruising yes. around. And, we, and it was late, man. And yes. You, you came in like, wow, that pretty much wraps up this night. Yeah. No, it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was scary. And uh, I'm sure, you know, his dad was not a very nice dad, boy. I'll tell you yeah, what. He, he strict. Had he found out, man. Forget it. He forget it. He wouldn't have had a butt. <laughs> he would have, he, man, he would have been sleeping outside. Uh, Man, anyway, that's uh, I like that one. Hey, next up is by Tim Yank. Love the regret videos. I'd say my most regret sold car was, of course, my first car. It was a 1986 Chevy Monte Carlo Sports Coupe. Wow. Uh, white with blue interior. Even though it only sported the 4.3 EFI V6, it drove like a dream and wow. uh, just dripped with class. I purchased it when I was a junior in high school and actually kept hold of it for about 15 years. Finally, between life, meeting a lot of engine work and lack of storage, I ended up parting with it. I've uh, had a couple of new Monte Carlos since, but nothing was quite like the personal luxury coupes of the 70s and 80s. Wow, man. man. I like that. Uh, Very beautiful, Tim. Love it. SS was my favorite, man. The SS Monte Carlo for for this generation? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. I had a good friend of mine uh, whose uncle had uh, a Monte Carlo with T-tops. Oh, yeah, yeah. They they, they came out with some T-tops. Yes, yes. And we were cruising around, and it was just beautiful. Just a beautiful riding car. You know, uh, this generation was just... uh, It was awesome. Other than the... um, you know, the 76, 77, the one prior to this, mm-hmm. um, remember Ann Sylvia had one of these? It oh, was a, she yes. Had, she had a 79. Oh, yes. Now, was it a blue one? It was like a baby blue. Yeah, yes. And, and I took that to, uh, I, she lent it to me for prom, I think it was. Oh, man. You 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 drove a grasshopper to, to the prom? I drove a grasshopper, <laughs> but left the back seat clean. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> Just want to make sure I, yeah. Yeah. You know, Monte Carlo's a Monte Carlo, man, but the 79. 78 ish, uh, they just to me, man, looked like grasshoppers, man. The way they, they did, they, they were they shorter and they were not, they were not, they, they were not classy looking. Did you get that beard down? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to. <laughs> All right, next we have uh, Floyd Thompson. Floyd Thompson, thank you for chiming in on the car you regret selling or getting rid of. Um, I had a 78 Coupe de Ville, same uh, three way uh, yellow as in your uh, picture. With the 425 400 uh, turbo, and it was the most powerful car I had uh, before I got into trucks. Uh, Gave it to my brother after his car was totaled Mm. in my teens. I had a 71 Camaro. Motor was fine. Had an Edelbrock intake and a Holley 750. Sold it because it needed a transmission Still kicking myself in the ass. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) You know what? Cadillacs back in the uh, 70s. Yeah. Um, were just so awesome. They they just don't have that class like they had back in the day. I mean, yeah, the Cadillacs nowadays are, you know, they're fast and, and yeah. all the technology, but back yeah. then it was just, uh, when you drove a Caddy back then, you were something, man. And now everyone can afford a Caddy. You know, and I don't blame Cadillac either because, you know, um, as the population grew older, these cars, you know, they're, they're like, okay, well... We're tired of the big old luxury yeah, cars. What yeah. do we do? What do we do next? So the they tanks. had to do something. So yeah, but man, there's nothing like the old Cadillac. Uh, Speaking of '71 Camaro that uh, they had, um, make sure to watch our video on the second generation Camaro. It's the Camaro from 1970 to 1981. So check it out. Yeah, and you know what? Thank you so much for for uh, viewing this. Those of you who have viewed the uh, Camaro uh, video, because uh, man, it is gangbusters. I mean, uh, lots of viewers and and uh doing real well yeah thank you so much for for uh tuning in and watching us and make sure you uh, spread the word about us boca hey, brothers by the way if you like these videos hey subscribe leave us a thumbs up you know um we, we really appreciate it it helps the channel grow it helps us do what we love to do we're we're having a few beers right now and just uh, talking about people's cars that they regret uh, selling. Man. Yeah, it's people who can kick themselves in their a- in the ass for <laughs> for for getting rid of their car. Yeah, for sure. As the Miller lights are going down smoothly, we move on to the next one by Ooh. Doug thirty one fifty seven, and he says, "I really miss my seventy six Ford Granada. Mm. It had a three hundred two V eight and the sports uh, group option." Yeah. 
It was black with a gold uh, half roof and gold pinstripes and loaded with options. What a smart looking car. And it was very dependable. Normal maintenance was all that required. Uh, I wish I had it back today. <clears throat> Yeah. And uh, he says, all the memories. Thanks. I do remember all the cars shown in the video. All great cars, too. Yes, there, look, man. Look at that, man. That Granada has a spot in our hearts. Yes, it does. It is just uh, a very beautiful, classy look. Well, this one is. I mean, yeah, we're, we're, looking, we're looking at the red one. And, uh, you know, Danny, I'm, I'm, I'm going to post the picture or, of our 75 Granada in uh, 78 or 79, it was in Houston, Texas, in a parking lot, and um, they sent us a picture that said, in my mind, Mom goes, we're going to buy this car, you know, it's three years old, it's a Granada, yeah. and yeah. it was red, it was red, and I'm going to post this right now, and it yep. is yep. beautiful, man. Just, uh, this I is mean, the original picture we got back in 78. It's a Polaroid picture, isn't it? Exactly. It is yeah. a Polaroid so that's picture. And uh, and sure enough, they they bought that Granada. We've talked about this before, but really quick, uh, it brings back memories from a trip that we took from Texas to California, Los Angeles, and and uh, I had to stick my leg out. It's six people in this five seater car, and I had to stick my leg out going through the desert uh, because I was I was getting cramps. Oh, that's right. Yes, and, and it now, was, now get this. It 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 was a a, a five seater car, right? Yes, you, uh, two front bucket seats, and then uh, there's six of us in the car. So there's <laughs> three of us boys, big boys, man, <laughs> big boys, and uh, we're in our teens, uh, fifteen, I think, mm-hmm. probably sixteen. Yeah, and then our, our sister, who's like uh, maybe um, nineteen. Yeah, uh, and uh, my younger our younger brother. So what my dad did was he says, "Hey, we're gonna stuff pillows." In between the two bucket seats up front, yes. and you guys are going to trade off here. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, say what? Say what? Man. But we did it. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> next, we have uh, R2-D2. Hey. Uh, hey, what's up, R2-D2? R2-D2. Yeah, so I regret selling my 1999 Honda CRX, but actually managed to buy it back again. For the same price. What? Still getting uh, me uh, everywhere I need to go. And uh, I had an uh, Alpha GTV 3.0 24 uh, valve for a uh, a while, but it was uh, kind of expensive to keep running. Oh, wow, man. man. You know, that's just, uh, those are really nice little go-kart uh, running cars. I, I remember our cousin Ricky in Los Angeles had one. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it was his or his girlfriend's, but. No, it was uh, George. Oh, was it? Cousin oh, George. Cousin George. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it wasn't his. I think it was his girlfriend. Who okay. The car. Well, I remember driving it, and man, I thought, wow, these things are a little are peppy. Yeah, and they, were. And they and the, even even the the Hondas in the nineties were peppy. Yeah, they were. And you know, back in the day in Los Angeles, man, they would drop these cars and put some nice wheels, and they would just cruise around. Good, reliable cars, man. Hey, by the way, don't forget we have a, a video about CRX, uh, the little car that could and did it too. So check out the video on the Boca Brothers channel. Right on, right on. All right, next up is uh, something, and uh, he says, or yeah, she, uh, she says, whoever. And my late dad always regretted selling uh, or getting rid of his '64 and a half Mustang convertible. Wow, white, black Whoa. top, 289 hypo, hypo with four in the floor. Uh, I have two, a 76 Malibu classic two-door with uh, swivel bucket seats. Had a little 305 two-barrel. The other was an 85 Monte Carlo with the 4.3 V6. Bought it from uh, budget car sales with just under 25000 on it. It was a great car. Never had any issues, uh, major issues, and uh, had all kind of road uh, had all kind of road trips in yeah. the first two years, almost double the miles on it. <clears throat> I I do like the um, the Malibus, man. Oh, uh, Uncle Richard a... Uncle Richard had a uh, Malibu with swivel sweet seats. Hold on, wasn't he? Wasn't his a four four two? No, that was the Oldsmobile. Oldsmobile four four two. Yeah, this right. one I forgot. Look, La- oh, it was a Laguna. I don't remember. Oh yes, it was a Laguna, that's right. Uncle Richard swivel. had the Laguna. That's right, man. Man, and then we had a Malibu seventy three right. right. Malibu seventy three Malibu blue in color. It had the round color. lights though, not the uh, squared lights. And I like that. <laughs> All right, next we have a uh, Cabron. Is it Cabron one two three or Cabron one two three? <laughs> Cabron one two three. Hey, my dad had a seventy five Monte Carlo that he bought brand new and kept it uh, kept garage until nineteen ninety eight when he took it out for a spin and wrecked it. Oh, 
My dad was a Marine and combat veteran. Thank you for your service. Uh, thanks for Thank your you. service. Whom um, I've only seen cry three times in my life. Uh, when my grandmother and brother passed away and when the Monte Carlo was totaled. Oh. My friend's mom had the uh, late 80s SS in a dark plum color. That was an awesome car. One of our best friends, Ted's uh, cousin, yeah, had, yeah, yeah. A, had a blue one, didn't he? Yeah, I think it was a 77. Okay, so I mean, it, uh, styling was the same, and um, but man, it was just a, a beautiful car. I remember he he had trust in me and and lent it to me for a day. It was sad. It was a Saturday, and I remember listening to the Michael Jackson uh, off the wall eight track, eight track in, <clears throat> in his car. Oh my! Now, God. now he he had his. Um, 77 Monte Carlo jacked up. Back then, back then you would jack you jack the cars up, man. Oh yeah. Well, some he always stood out, man. So it wasn't already it wasn't in a, a, anymore, but he he jacked it up and it looked pretty pretty nice, you know. Well, we were in uh what? 17, 18, 17, I think, 16, 17 and he yeah. he lent it to me one Saturday because uh, I said, "Hey, man, I'm want to take this girl out cruising." And uh and we got in the back seat of that Monte Carlo. Yeah. And didn't do a damn thing, but talked. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes again with the back seat, there man. There he goes again. Oh man, seventy nine back to a yeah. seventy seven. He named her. Uh, he her name was Kim, and man, she had the most beautiful green eyes. All right, up next is uh, Wonder Kid. Uh, he says, "I Wonder needed." Ki- it's Wonder Kind. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Wonder Kind. I needed to give up. Uh, dr- I needed to give up driving due to eyesight issues. Oh man, uh, optic nerve damage caused by multiple sclerosis. Sorry to hear about that, Wonder Kind. Mm. But my last car was a 2009 Corvette. Even with a small uh, engine, it was uh, blazingly fast. And uh, what my wife did not know was at the time. Uh, I would go to the garage in the middle of the night and rub myself to, against it. You know, it could be ten thirty at night. I'm making sure all the lights are out. And uh, yeah, man. So no, I've, been, I've been known to do that. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I mean, some of us people, we some of us guys, and and maybe even some girls. I mean, that we fall in love with a car. We lo- we love the car. I've, I've got a 2000 BMW 740 IL. Uh, I love it. I really do. And I'll go out there and just kind of. Give it a nice little touch and and uh, yeah, say you know, good car, great car, good be, car, be good, be, be good, be a good car, be good car, <laughs> nice car, kissy kissy, kissy kissy. No, we now, understand, hold on, man. Hold on, we're not kissing the dang car, oh, man. We're we're giving huggies, <laughs> just, <laughs> just huggies. <laughs> no, but we really do understand, wonder kind that you know we sometimes we we fall in love with the car. All right, next we have George. Armstrong, uh, my biggest car regret was my red 1970 Mustang Fastback. It would, uh, it had a two, uh, 428 Cobra Jet in it and uh, the plain Jane one, not the Mach one. Uh, it was a sleeper and I found out later quite rare. Ooh, wow. That's not bad. No, and uh, yeah, you know what? I, I really love the 70, 71 uh, Mustangs, and they could be Mach 1, they could be anything, really. I just love that long hood. Yeah. You know, and- the um, Mary Tyler Moore show uh, had her driving a 1970 Mustang. Oh, and yes. It was, a, it was a plain Jane one, I believe. Yes, yes. Yeah. Our cousins in Los Angeles had a uh, badass one. It was a 70 Mach 1. Oh, Fernando, yes. Yes, and of course he des- divorced and his ex-wife got the car then yeah, sold Yeah, man, I remember yeah. when he told me that. He says, yeah, man, I, I left it for my son and um, she ended up selling it. All right, next up is Nick. And he says, the one car I regret selling was a black 88 Corvette. I was 23 when I bought it and and tried to hold on for it as long as I can. But I traded it in for a 92 town and country because my girlfriend, now my wife, is uh, had our twins. Hey, we have a video on the C4 Corvette, by the way. We're, you know, just we're just giving plugs left and right here. It's the uh, 84 through 1996. It's the C4 Corvette. There is a video from the Boca Brothers. Check it out. Am I next? Ah, uh, you're next. Now hold on. Uh, scroll. I, I I did the cattle. <clears throat> oh, Duke Deville. Hey, let's get a beer, dude. All right, we are recording. Uh, we are right. recording. We are recording. All right. 
Did we, that, we do that one? That's good, man. All right, keep going. Wonderkind. Wonderkind.